run away. Can I? You can delay, but not for long. Elaine, if you're worried about reconstruction, I can make an appointment with a plastic surgeon. And you could just... What will happen to it after you cut it off? Now you're being morbid. Why? It's a part of me. It'll go to pathology, and then it'll be got rid of. It's thrown in the trash. It's medical waste. Not a blob of gel instead. What will it feel like when I touch it? When somebody else touches it? Elaine, lots of women had this type of surgery. I can't imagine feeling anything. And if I can, how will anybody else? I mean, how can I ever be with anybody again? You can't let this define you. But it's hard not to. I was happy with who I was. <laughs> exactly who you'll still be. I'm gonna come back in. Maybe vain, but I'm not stupid. Just... Can you do something for me? Of course. When you cut... You cut everything. Don't leave anything. You cut it all. Leave your reading glasses at home? No, they really don't help that much. Is your vision better on the periphery? I can take a look with the ophthalmoscope. Well, not unless you know a cure for macular degeneration. Well, there are a lot of new treatments. Photodynamic therapy, Rufab. That's for, uh, that's for wet MD. I, I have the dry kind. How far along are you? Far enough. The paramedics brought this in. It's an empty bottle of digoxin. Oh, congratulations, Miss Rizal. The prescription was filled yesterday. Um, can can I can I go now? I'm worried it wasn't an accident. <laughs> Excuse me. Have you had suicidal thoughts? Yes, yes. In the uh, in the seventh grade, I was a I was a pudgy child. If you don't answer the question seriously, I'll put you on a psychiatric hold. Have you ever considered suicide? Look, I'm, I'm a 71-year-old man who's going blind. I've considered everything. I'd be, I'd, I'd be crazy if I did. My, uh, my dad once saw Benny Goodman play at the old Monroe Theater. <laughs> On 33rd Street? Yep. I used to sing there during the war. All those boys in uniform, huh? Well, he was one of them. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe you even danced with him. <laughs> I never thought to talk to her about music. I don't even know anything about music. Neither does he. So you ready to try some of those questions? Like on Jeopardy? Yeah, yeah. Can you tell me where you are? What is a jail? No, no, you're not in jail. The cops brought me in here. OK, OK, I'll give you that one. Uh, do you know what year it is? Uh, what is 1948? And who's the president? Harry Truman. I... Who is Harry Truman? <laughs> okay, now this is a different kind of question. If you found a sealed letter with a stamp on it, okay, lying in the street, what would you do? Uh, I, I would... Uh, I would... Uh, it's okay. Forget it. We'll try another one. We'll try another one. Can you tell me what the difference is between a child and a dwarf? I am a child, but I'm not a dwarf. <laughs> Excellent. Very good. Good. Mr. Ames, you are celebrating. In court today, you are celebrating. Mr. Ames, we were just happy the case was over. That's, that's all. You were happy that you got over. Isn't that what you really mean? Look, I have patience. I was a patient. Don't you remember? Mr. Ames, you shouldn't be back here. Isn't this where the sick come to get healthy? Because I want to get healthy. Hey, do you need some help here? Do these people know what you did? It's, it's out of control. It's OK. I came in here with a cough. And I went out like this. I gave you the best treatment possible. Well, I was having a stroke. 
You ignored me. Mr. Ames, that's... The... You ignored me! You did! You, you should... You should go. Go where? Where am I gonna go? Security! If you had just let me go home in the first place, then none of this would have happened right. in the... What do I want me to do? I want you... To... I want you to give me my life back. Just give me my life back! Give it back! Give it back to me! Stop! Get off! Anybody else out there? Only about 20 or 30 more. Oh my god! Oh my god! Wait! Oh my god! Hang on! We're not equipped for stabbing. Gus, call an ambulance. Help me. Oh, Let's give me some gloves. Larger, give me larger. Bigger. Larger. Trick or treat. That's not funny. Where's my treat? You know, we're all out. Can I get a couple of condoms? How old are you? 18. 18. Why don't you come back when you're 15? Girl, I, my dates don't like him anyway. Hey, wait a minute. What's your name? Charlie. Charlie, you work in the streets? What do you think? I think that you're at risk for uh, AIDS. Charlie, where are you living? In a penthouse on Lakeshore Drive. Hey. 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 Be careful out there, all right? Thanks, old man. She asked me to leave. Do you want me to leave, John? No. You're right. I failed you. I failed your brother. And then I failed you. Mom. He was tired before we even left for France. That was 20 years ago. Millicent insisted he just needed some fresh air. You've been inside all winter. It delayed the diagnosis by less than a month. It wouldn't have changed anything. That was his mother. I just stood by. Well, I was eating him alive. I just stood by. Hey, hold up. I'm good. Uh, I think the robot can go home. Okay, I'll get Carter to dispo him. Okay. Can I get you a cup of coffee or something? No, fine, thank you. Uh, I like your outfit. Mm -hmm. It's very retro. <laughs> thank you. Um, listen, if if you ever need anything, uh... like a straight jacket. <laughs> Is your dyskinesia usually this bad? I don't want to freeze up when I'm at work, so I up the medication and this is what you get. At least it helps to dispel the myth. No, we don't all have rhythm. <laughs> if that happened to me, I'd probably jump on a world cruise, not go to med school. I already saw the world. You lied to me. What? The neurologist told me she'll never leave the hospital. Well, uh, he's her doctor now. You should respect his opinion. You knew all along, didn't you? I gotta get back to work. You were a doctor and a friend. No, I was a fourth year medical student who took care of your wife when she was on the surgical service. You gave me hope because I thought you cared. You should have told me the truth. I tried. I'm not a kid. You should have told me. 
Did her leaving the hospital today make her worse? I don't know. I, I trusted you. I spent two weeks treating her multiple medical problems. I dealt with social services. I arranged for her convalescent care. I fought with cardiology, renal, and in order to get her admitted here. I did everything that I could. We're not just old people. We have lives. You, you look at my wife and all you see is her problems. I see it. 20-year-old dancing, 27-year-old bride, 30-year-old mother. What do you want from me? The truth! She's dying, Ruby. Is that, is that what you want to hear? She's dying, and she's never going to leave this hospital. Thank you. As I was sitting here, I was reminded of the night I chose to become a priest. I'd been struggling with it for a long time, several years. Anyway, that night, I couldn't sleep, so I, I got up and went out for a walk in the woods behind my father's house. It was snowing, like it is now. I don't have any idea how long I walked, but at a certain point, I suddenly realized I didn't know which way to go. I'd gotten lost. I was frightened. But as I looked up into that dark night, he came to me. I saw all those millions of snowflakes drifting down toward me. So still. So peaceful. Perfect. And I was filled with the love of our Lord Jesus Christ. Like pouring wine into an empty glass. You have a family? A daughter. Wait, are you divorced? You get to see her a lot? She lives in St. Louis. You know, when I was when I was about your age, my son was brought into the ER. He'd he'd, uh, he'd fallen out of a tree. They patched him up, you know, good as new. And it wasn't until later I realized he had jumped out of the tree. He wanted to come see me. But that was then. Dr. Yeah. Lawrence, uh, Mr. Henderson is on his way to the OR. I just need you to co-sign this chart. I can do that. Thanks for the coke. You bet. Did you check a second crit? 38, um, and the EKG was normal. I reviewed the films with radiology, and you were right. Comminuted tib fib, non-displaced calcaneal fracture, and the cystogram was normal. Cystogram? Why'd you get a cystogram? You ordered it when the urine tested positive for blood. He had microscopic hematuria. I ordered an IVP. No, you said cystogram. I wouldn't order a cystogram for 30 red cells. You did. Lucy, I've been treating trauma patients for 30 years. I think I know what I ordered. Get an IBP before he goes up. He's already on his way. And catch him and get him into radiology. He's not going to surgery without an IBP. 